Hello everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live interview. My name is Suba Ross and I am Director of Admissions for Tulane University School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine located in New Orleans, Louisiana. And today's topic is male osteoporosis. And our guest today is Dr. Jean Zhao and she is a clinical assistant professor in a global biostatistics and data sciences department. Hello, Dr. Xiao. Hello. Welcome. Would you like to tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Jin Zhao. I came to Tulane University six years ago, and uh, I got my PhD degree from Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. I came from China. <laughs> well, can you tell us how long you have uh, worked on this study? And can you also describe to our audience what is osteoporosis? For this study, male osteoporosis study, it was funded by NIH last year. So we mm -hmm. have been working up for this study since last October for this recruitment. The so principal investigator of this study is Dr. Hong Wendeng. He is an expert in genetic epidemiology in osteoporosis. Talking about osteoporosis, it is the most common bone disease. Your bones are a supportive framework for your body, like the beams of a house. If the beams of a house is damaged by termite, you know the house is in danger. Osteoporosis is a disease that causes the bone to become weak and uh, to break. So if you have osteoporosis and your bone becomes so weak and so fragile, then you may break your bone from a minor fall or in serious cases, even from bumping into fracture. But you will not know that whether you have osteoporosis or not if you don't measure your bone mass. Right. Actually, we provide free bone measurement in our clinic. Mm -hmm. So you will get a report. From this report, you will know whether you have osteoporosis or not. Well, that's a great analogy to describe about the structure of a home and the support of the home is the beams. Mm -hmm. And if they're damaged with termites, it's similar to bone damage and mineral loss, making weak bones for the structure of your body as well. So I understand there's basic differences between males and females that have low bone mineral density, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, for females, they generally have a low bone mass compared to males. Mm -hmm. So most males think uh, that osteoporosis is a woman's disease, not a male's disease. It is true that in general, males have a high bone mass compared to female, and compared to females, Males have no period of rapid hormone change and bone loss, men's bone loss start late and progress more slowly. However, as persons are expected to live longer, the number of men above the age of 70 will continue to grow. So the absolute number of males with osteoporosis is growing. Although the lifetime risk of fracture is lower in male compared to females, if men do have a fracture, Comparing to women, men are twice as likely to die of a fracture. That means the death rate is much higher in males compared to females. So therefore, the problem of osteoporosis in men has been recognized as an important public health problem. Wow, that's surprising or just interesting in that the prevalence of osteoporosis is more so in females. Mm -hmm. However, if a male does have osteoporosis, the mortality is is higher, is higher than males than females. Than females, yes. Goodness. Well, can you tell us about the subject population? For this study, we plan to recruit 1,100 subjects. Mm -hmm. So for this study, we mainly focus on Caucasian or African-American males with age between 20 to 50. So far, we have recruited 72 subjects since last October. Okay, and what are the specific aims and goals of this study? So the goal of this study is to identify genetic factors contributing to male osteoporosis. To reach these goals, we aim to recruit 1,100 subjects, that's uh, Caucasian or African-American males between age 20 to 50. And for each subject, we will measure their bone mass, their fat mass, their lean mass, and for each subject, we will collect 120 ml blood. That's about uh, eight tablespoons of blood. So from the blood samples, we will isolate uh, monocytes, 
from the one side, we will extract the DNA, RNA, and also we will collect a small amount of stool samples from each subject. So from these stool samples, we want to identify the bacteria difference between those subjects with hypomass and mm -hmm. those subjects with lobo mass. Okay. Um, let's talk about the recruitment strategy or the requirements. Mm -hmm. And also, do you have to travel to Tulane to participate in this study? Yes, they have to travel to Tulane okay. University. So for this recruitment, we mainly recruit eligible subjects from our Louisiana osteoporosis study. As we talked before, for our Louisiana osteoporosis study, the goal of this study is to build a database about 20,000 subjects, that database for future research, such as this male osteoporosis study. So from this uh, Louisiana osteoporosis study, we identify eligible subjects and invite them to our clinic to, uh, to extract uh, or to collect their stool samples and collect their blood samples and measure their phenotype like bone mass. Okay, and uh, there's a consent form. Yes, there's consent form. We need to introduce this study to them, explain the study to each participant so they will understand what this study is and how long they needed to take and what the process it is. is if they are agreed to participate in this study, then they will sign this consent form and to be enrolled to this study. Can you tell me if there are any um, reasons why someone be, would be excluded from the study? Oh, for these reasons for this study, you know, we only study male osteoporosis, so definitely That's those female. females are excluded. And also we want to focus on specific race. So in this study, we only focus on this Caucasian and Afri African American males. So other races like Asians will be excluded. And we want to study pickable males. So those subjects with older than age 50 or younger than 20 will be excluded from, from this study. Also, we want to exclude those subjects that they have disease or these health problems that will affect their bone mass, such as liver failure. So they will be excluded from this study. Are there risks? Yes, there are some risks. As we talked about this study, we will draw blood from each participant so there's some risk associated with this blood draw, like uh, bleeding, pain, or in rare cases like fainting. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, for this uh, bone measurement, we, we use DEXA to measure their bone mass. So for this measurement, a uh, participant will exposure, expose a certain rate of radiation, but this radiation um, is very low. This is for the DEXA measurement, it's about uh, an average person's radiation they expose in an average day. And for the, another measurement, that's the QCT measurement, the radiation is about 10% of an average person they receive on an average year. So there's about a 40 days uh, a natural radiation a normal person receives in normal life. That's well within the acceptable acceptable for limit for uh, uh, healthy volunteers. So, so risks are very low. There's hardly the risk any radi low. radiation. Yeah. And then for the blood draw, it sounds like it's just the same as going to a doctor's appointment and having a phlebotomist draw blood for lab tests. Yeah, we try our best to lower the risk okay. for this study. All right, uh, Dr. Shaw, can you tell us if there is any uh, payment that our participants could expect? Oh, yes. Uh, after a subject completed this study, so to cover their expense associated with the visit, we will give them $150 Walmart or Amazon gift card. Okay, well, that sounds great. Uh, well, we thanks for their contribution to our research. Excellent. How can someone participate? They can call us. Uh, our phone number is 504-988-1016, or they can go to our website and uh, make appointment for this study. The website address is los.sph.tulane.edu.
Okay, so I'll repeat that. The, it's for Louisiana osteoporosis, so LOS, and then dot SPH, School yeah. of Public Health, mm -hmm. dot Tulane, dot edu. Yes. And I'll be able to place that on our uh, website once we finish our video. Thank you, sir. Well, Dr. Zhao, thank you for joining us and giving us this information. I hope many join the study. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.